Developing tonight, a Clinton County community seeking more answers after police charged a man for assaulting and torturing a woman for two days. IT reporter Sarah Plague talked with those living near the scene and shares more details around the suspect's history with the law. The property here is tucked back into the trees, and you can see here this fence covers most of it. So driving by, you would have no idea that, according to court records, a woman was living out one of the most horrific days a person can have. And now residents here at Lake Arrowhead are wondering how this happened in the first place. I was kind of infuriated. This was the reaction many Lake Arrowhead residents like Steve Berg had when they found out what allegedly happened at this property over the weekend. A woman telling police she was held captive, beaten and tortured by the property owner's son, James Larson Jr. I have a 13 year old son and I would I would hate for him to be in, in an environment to where I would have to worry about that. And, and here we are. Larson Jr. is now charged with first degree domestic assault, kidnapping, armed criminal action, and unlawful possession of a firearm. The 30 year old woman told detectives she had just met Larson Jr. on Facebook and was with him at his dad's house for two days. She said out of nowhere he got violent and started beating her, even threatening to shoot her and slit her throat. She claimed she wasn't allowed to go to the bathroom or eat, but when Larson Jr. passed out, she ran to the neighbor's house, who called the police. We're just looking at all the facts and we don't have them all uh, together, so we really can't piece together the entire story or the timeline just yet. We're still, we're still investigating this. According to court records, Larson's dad, James Larson Sr., and a cousin were at the house during this time. Larson Sr. did not want to talk to KSHB 41 News, but court records show he claims to have tried to get the woman to leave, but he didn't call the police. Larson Jr. has an extensive rap sheet. He just got out of an Oklahoma prison, and his past charges range from battery, assault, and gun and drug possession. This guy is well known to the, to the town, evidently. I had no idea. So I was like, they were just like, this so-and-so, his name, um, could be staying on his, is back from Oklahoma and is staying on his dad's lot and he's known for extreme violent behavior and he shouldn't be here. We learned he had a run in with police just a week prior on May 6th when police busted him and a friend for drugs at a gas station in Holt. They were put on a 24 hour hold and released, something the Clinton County Sheriff's Office couldn't comment on. Sarah Plake, KSHB 41 News.